All right, 15 dangerous fish you should swim away from. We've watched lots of stuff like this. I'm excited to see the 15 most dangerous fish. There's big fish, <coughs> there's little fish, and there's fish. That's not that a fish. Just the okay, right off the bat, he said there's little fish. There's big fish, there's... Not a fish. That is that is a uh, flamboyant cuttlefish. Just not a, not a fish. Number 15, Stargazer. Okay, and not a fish you should ambition. really swim away from. Just a, a bottom-dwelling fish. I mean, it might grab your foot if you stepped over it, but I'm, I wouldn't be particularly scared of it. The electric charge is supplied through a pouch behind the eyes. Yeah, I don't know. This may carry up. I could, I could give this like a, a, a two out of ten, or no, like a four out of ten. There's, there's real, I guess, fear to be had here, but you're never going to, you know, interact with one. And even then, you're gonna be fine. I don't know. The term stargazer comes from this fish's habit of continually staring up. Extra concealment is provided <laughs> by fleshy lumps. Okay, well that fish is mouth, dumb as fuck. Like, yeah, he was camouflaged, but he was clearly there. Up. Extra That's a dumbass Concealment fish. is provided by fleshy lumps around the mouth. Number 14. Piranha. Okay. The red-bellied piranha yep. is one of the world's most well-known cool. and fearsome fish. Cool. Early European. Should I show the video of Jeremy Wade bathing with piranhas again? Jeremy Wade ba bathing with hungry piranhas and not being attacked. Reported a small. The piranha is a scavenger that loves. <laughs> what the fuck is this image? What the fuck is this? That's not what piranhas look like. What is it? Does he think this is a real picture of a piranha? <laughs> their eyes are on the side of their okay yeah 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 yeah. okay okay yep that makes sense whatever the case may be these are very dangerous fish no they're not number 13 definitely not the very flamboyant dangerous flamboyant cuttlefish what okay not a fish not even remotely can i show you these channels annoy me. I need to show you how small it is. Because I don't think you realize how small this thing is. There they are. These are flamboyant cuttlefishes. This is a person's hand. This is not something to be scared of. They're like the size of a fucking M&M. Similar to the blue ringed octopus and other small, bright colored and <laughs> the way he walks. critters. Don't meddle with this rainbow. I love the way cuttlefish fish. walk. They get their name from the cuddle bone, a hollow portion of their body that they can fill with gas to <laughs> vary their buoyancy. The cuttlefish are fucking hilarious. They also across the ocean floor rather than swimming. Number 12. Okay, that's it. Titan trigger fish. What? How is a trigger fish even remotely scary? Especially the females. This is one of the most violent fish in the water, and females will fight anything that comes near their nest. Oh no, it nibbled my fin. Yeah, they're violent in that they'll chase you off. They're not violent in that they have a way to, like, actually kill you. Productive season, but divers from Thailand to Australia know to stay clear of these ferocious animals who can attack even ferocious. if not provoked and they're can bite through fins They're just territorial and aggressive. And wetsuits. Number 11, Crown of Thorn Starfish. The theatrical Classic. name of the crown of thorn starfish comes from its similarity to the crown of thorns that Jesus had to wear before being crucified. Okay. To put it mildly, that was a painful process, and he had to do it with a starfish <laughs> on his head. It what are you talking about? Jesus being crucified was a painful process, and he did it with a starfish on his head. Okay, yep, we're on track. It's possible that things... Also, not a fish, once again. This is the second not fish, by the way. Another invertebrate. And when a human or an unwitting creature comes into contact with the starfish, the spines can embed in the skin, causing severe stinging pain and nausea almost instantly. Big spike equals scary. Me, smart human. Me, scared of big spike. So if you're reenacting the crucifixion for <coughs> whatever occasion, who is reenacting the <laughs> the Bible crucifixion? You should definitely avoid wearing one of these on your head. Yeah, that's good advice, man. Thank you. You know, I was going to reenact the crucifixion and wear a crown of thorns starfish on my head. 
Um, but I've, now that you've warned me, I know not to. Thank you. Ouchie. Number 10, lionfish. Fair enough. They have no natural predators. Lionfish That's populations are largely maintained under control. They have no consistent natural predators are in their invasive environments, but saying they have no natural predators is not true. So the pretty. arrival of Hurricane Andrew, on the other hand, caused devastation on the Florida coast in 1992, destroying an aquarium, among other things. Six lionfish were discharged Fathers. into the Caribbean. As a result of this, they have swiftly established themselves. That is not what caused it. And a hurricane destroying an aquarium is not what caused lionfish to invade the Atlantic Ocean and Gulf of Mexico. They invaded because people kept them as aquarium pets and then didn't want them, so they released them in the ocean. Number nine, <sighs> Candiru. Oh, the piss fish. Classic. I get a lot of conflicting things on this. I originally thought that this actually happened, and there are people who say that they like live, like people will comment on my videos and say they live in the area and this actually happened. And then there are people who are like very sure that it is not, not a real thing and it's just like a, a myth that's been made up and there's no one who's actually been proven to have had it happen. But either way, the legend exists. The Candiru fish, Vandelia cirrhosa, is a tiny catfish that is said to go into the, uh, hem, personal orifices of those who pee in the Amazon rivers. Okay. According to legend, the fish Just don't pee in the river, just pee next to the river. Why do you have to pee in the river? I think this is a really simple solution. Fuses human urine with water ejected from other fish's gills. Yes, Whirly, the, the general thing is that they swim up the pee stream. That is the how, I don't know. I don't even know if that's remotely possible. But that is the legend, that they swim up the pee stream. But still, do you cool. really want to try it? No, I don't Number want to try eight. it, but it uh, doesn't mean Stray. that I consider it scary, okay? We were all devastated when we found out in 2006 Dude, that- Dude, so often, every one of these fucking dangerous fish videos has to bring up Steve Irwin and use it as a way to, like, monger emotions. Steve Irwin, since 1945, just two people have died from stingray stings in Australian waters. One of them was Irwin. They were unfortunate both times, as the stinging barb hit them in the torso, delivering the venom straight to their hearts. However, it only goes- Yeah, they're just absolutely- I mean, it's insanely unlikely. Insanely unlucky. And obviously, Steve Irwin would not want people to be afraid of, of stingrays because of it. They're, it's just like, the coincidentalness, I don't know. I don't consider them scary. I don't consider them scary, but like- I guess if you want to consider that like one in a million chance that it, like a stinging barb will hit you in the heart is insane. Yeah, they're also defensive, so just like don't fuck with them. It's pretty easy. Number seven, stonefish. Another good one. The stonefish holds the title of being the world's most toxic fish. In Australia, beaches have vinegar supplies, so if someone steps on a stonefish unintentionally, it is less traumatic as the vinegar seems to relieve the pain. And it is known for delivering some serious, serious pain. You just pain. say he, he, they heal it by pouring vinegar on it? I've never heard that before. You get stung by a stonefish in Australia, they have vinegar supplies on the beach to numb it? That's cool. I didn't know that. Other unique characteristics of the stonefish include its capacity to be out of the water for more than 24 hours, something Tide no other fish. fish can do. That's something no other fish can do? What? There are... I just did a fucking ichthyology presentation on how the lungfish can be out of the water for a fucking year. What do you mean it can't be out of the water for 24 hours? No other fish can do that. So many fish can do that. Number six, puffer fish. The pu We've talked about this. Just don't eat it. Just don't eat it. Don't, don't eat fugu and you have successfully avoided ever being injured by a puffer fish in your entire life. In reality, each puffer fish contains a lethal dosage of tetrodotoxin, a poison 1,200 times more toxic than cyanide. Yeah, this is why all I said, just don't fucking eat it. If you see a puffer fish washed up on the beach, do not think, hmm, I'll eat it. And capable of killing 30 people, and there is also- <laughs> He did say you'll die if you touch it. He's just- these people are just fucking grabbing it with their bare hands. Just manhandling it. So no antidote. The most dangerous part of a pufferfish, if you're not eating it, is the mouth. The beak is really just fucking strong. I've been bitten by a pufferfish before by the beak. Shit hurts. Number five. Yeah, yeah, just don't eat fugu. Pretty easy. Striped surgeon fit. What? 
He's just naming random ass reef fish that are like territorial and saying that they should su they're somehow dangerous to people. Ish. Has a slew of razor sharp spines on its back, much like a surgeon's knife, which means these guys have plenty of defenses. Even more bizarre, these spines are poisonous as well. It will slice you up while also envenomating you. Because it's such a badass fish, the people of American Samoa prize it for decorative purposes, which is definitely an intimidating way of welcoming people to your home. Number four. I just like. Just baffling. <laughs> the the fucking reef fish that you should never be scared of. Just being somehow fear mongered is really funny. Just like I mean the Goliath Grouper video I thought was incredible, but some of these are also pretty fucking incredible. Or Goonch catfish. Goonch! Yeah, the agreed. Enormous, but it is now extinct there. It may reach a length of six foot six and a weight of 200 pounds, mm. making it one of the genus's <coughs> biggest species. Yeah, fuck no. I would not swim in Goonch River. I Catfish are very opportunistic, and I would absolutely not doubt that Goonch are capable and have already eaten people. The Goonch catfish. Like, out of the water, yeah, you could grab it just fine, but I would not, like, be in this thing's territory where it's waiting to ambush prey. Fish is plentiful. Number three, electric eel. Okay. Electric eels are among the world's strangest fish. That's, what? Electric that was a moray, wasn't that an, it's just a moray eel. That's not even footage of the thing that you're talking about. 45 pounds, and they come in a variety of colors, including white, black, blue, purple, and gray. Yep, just a, just straight up a moray eel. Cool. Electric eels have 6,000 cells in their bodies that create electric charge, and they can deliver- Getting stock footage is hard. When your only job is to basically have an AI write your script for you, and then you pay someone to collect a bunch of stock footage, pay someone to collect a bunch, to like voice over your shitty AI generated script, I think you could do slightly better. Number two, Barracuda. Yay, more being afraid. I think one person ever commented on one of my videos saying that they knew someone who got attacked by a Barracuda and they kind of just got like a couple cuts on them has no way of killing you or eating you. The Great Barracuda, sometimes known as the Giant Barracuda, is a huge predatory ray finned fish that may be found in subtropical waters all over the I mean, I guess if you world. bled out, Barracudas maybe. Barracudas are scavengers. Were those lice? In subtropical waters all over Are those sea lice? The world. They look like sea lice. I wonder if that's what they are on the fish's mouth. Those are the things that lump suckers are supposed to eat are trained to eat in aquaculture. They are, however, renowned for the strong stench they emit when caught, and their meat has the potential to cause ciguatera fish poisoning if consumed. The great barracuda may be found <laughs> That's in funny, it did just- they did just show a video of it eating a lionfish, and then earlier in the video they said that the vid that lionfish has no predators. <laughs> Meanwhile, they literally just showed a video of a barracuda eating a lionfish. Concert. I will say, there has not been a single shark yet. I'm mildly impressed by that. Nation Commission, number one. Hawaiian boxfish. Hmm? The Hawaiian boxfish is the number one most dangerous fish that you should swim away from. Half fish, they feed on algae that has formed on the... Okay, they feed on algae and they're six inches long. When are you going to tell me why this is the most dangerous fish? Box. And the males are aggressive. Because the males are aggressive. Pahutoxin is a 3 acetoxypalmitic acid choline chloride ester that I Jesus fucking Christ, he's just suddenly saying extremely large words. What? Similarly to steroidal saponins found in echinoderms. Jesus! That was so many What did that have to do with- what? When the fish's poisonous mucus is discharged into the environment, it degrades swiftly and has a detrimental impact on the nearby fish. Because this toxin is so similar to some detergents, it's plausible that in He did just straight up read a line from the wiki page and just insert it into the video. Poor guy that was hired to voice this. Uh, there's so much wrong. How is that the number one dangerous Fires. fish you should swim away from? This has 200,000 views and the most liked comment has four likes. No shot. Where are all the views coming from? It has to be like autoplay or children or bots. How does it have 200,000 views?
And the lo- most liked thing is fish and chips as a meal was fi- first eaten in Belgium, and it has four likes. That was weird, dude. That was weird. Whoa.